Hello everyone and welcome to the 2022 Dean's Cup. This is a college disc golf event. We are here at the famed Winthrop Arena playing the gold layout. Ace One Productions bringing you this coverage. I am Felix. And I am Conrad. Conrad, we're here on historic ground, like we mentioned. What are your thoughts here being here at the course that plays USDGC every year? Like you said, it's historic. This right here is a fan favorite of the pros and those that get to play it alike. Uh, we get to see these college kids playing in a different floor mat, and we'll see exactly how they execute in this team doubles format here. Leading the way, we have North Carolina State University, the Wolf Pack. And we also have Clemson University. I believe they are the Tigers. Yeah, both teams pretty close to this property. Don't know how much they've gotten to play here, but we'll start things off on hole one, a par three, 283 feet. It's a hole you know, double mandatory off the rip. Have to beat this rock wall here with a distance. Going to be finishing relatively straight here. A little bit of a sloping fairway and green from left to right. See some backhand, some flip up forehands. Quite a few ways to attack this hole. But you're going to see this is a bit of a different format like you mentioned. So let's see exactly how these guys are going to play it out. Team first for NC State, Liam McWhorter. Yeah, so this is a team double. So what you'll notice is that there are going to be two players that throw from each lie, but there's four players on the team, so they're going to be alternating. Oh, he did miss the men, though, so that is still a playable lie they have there. Mm -hmm. That gap is a lot smaller than it appears. Oh, my gosh, it really is. Once you're standing on that tee box, you realize just, like, how tight of a shot this actually is. It feels like it's just a disc width. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got NC State leading the way here that one does make the mandatory gets a little further up there they still have got some work to do to get up and down for the par got Clemson stepping up here on hole one I gotta imagine these guys are feeling nerves they've played this course before this is the final round of this event but being filmed on this course it's a whole nother level Oh, and that one actually makes it through. A lot of people get caught up in that bush, but he makes it through. So they have a long look there for the two. Yeah, and look, these college teams are teeing off in between the FPO and MPO fields that were playing the throw pink event and the USDGC. So right behind them, you'll start to see some of the MPO cards teeing off behind them. Mm, oh, he got rocked. Whoa, whoa. And that's rolling and finds the out of bounds parking lot over on the left hand side. Just past the inner banners. Wow. It's still rolling. <laughs> I think it's still rolling, only. <laughs> All right, so we'll see two different players from the North Carolina State team uh, on the approach shot. This looks Ooh, very buttery. It's a little long. Yep, just outside the circle. Wow, I didn't think that was going to carry that far. He wants that one to drop, and he is outside of the circle as well. They'll have a similar putt there. This is Adam Mon here. If you've seen our channel before, we've had Jake Mon, his brother, on coverage a couple times. They've got another uh, younger brother who's starting to play as well, so the whole Mon family getting involved in disc golf. Oh, Mon. <laughs> And that one's off the bend there, but stays close to the basket. You always had a potential of a roll away with this type of uh, green. Someone's charging up the putter. A bit of a Nate Sexton flip going on here. Oh, I should have counted to see how many. Ooh, a little one bit more. too low. Yeah, yeah he didn't one charge enough. Flip. Didn't charge enough. NC State with a lefty on their team too, which... Predominantly, a lot of people have stated over the years that Winthrop does play very friendly to lefties. That could be an advantage for NC State here in this final round, having a lefty on the card. Oh, a lot of change, but it didn't stay. Of course, that right there is the weak side for a lefty. Strong side for a right-hand backhand. 
Clemson to, able to get up and down for the par here, and that's going to give them an early lead here over NC State in this final round. If they drop it in for a bogey. And now we're off to hole two. Hole two is a par three coming in at 409 feet. You see this uphill grade as well as these trees that you have to miss off of the tee. You wanna land somewhere out here in the field so that your teammate has another approach shot in towards the basket. There is OB on the left, there's OB on the right as well next to the fence. It is off of the fence, so if you um, are next to the fence, you could still potentially be OB without being beyond it. Then you get to the green area, it's fairly open with just one major tree to miss on the approach shot. Yeah, just 409, but 409 with uphill with a low ceiling. Oh mm. my goodness. It's a lot to ask, uh, and the pros, even a lot of the, the top level pros have a hard time getting it inside the circle on this hole from time to time. No, it doesn't. So. Safe play. All right. <laughs> About the question, you can see the rope there and the rocks that they have. This is an interesting fact, too, that they put the rocks there just for this event, and then they go and remove and all the up. rocks. That I'm like, that is a lot of work. It is. It is a labor of love every year at this course for what has to go on to make it the event that it is. Low swooping shot here out of the hand. And, and it stays in bounds too. Mm -hmm. It's calling for it to go to the move to the left, but that right there is good enough. Clemson up first here. Nice forehand. Checks up nicely there by yeah. the, about 20 feet or so, maybe a little less. Mm -hmm. No, I think you thought that was a little bit more understable and was going to turn, but. It pushes out to the circle's edge, so they'll have the first putt to putt from. Long jump putt bid approach here. Mm. That's Just, the tree. That is the tree. <laughs> we saw that throughout the weekend. Mm -hmm. Get a couple people. You want to make sure you swing it around it, and there, there you go. go. Just outside the bullseye. They're pretty easy work here for a couple of par putts coming up for both teams. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It looked like it almost fell out of his hand. Yeah. Good clean up there by Mon, securing the par. I wonder if this is a strategy, like if you put a very strong putter with uh, someone that may struggle from time to time just to even out a little bit. Mm. In this format, you mean? Yeah. 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 There, yeah, there's definitely got to be some strategy in terms of, you know, who's driving. Mm-hmm. Maybe you pair a righty with a lefty. Maybe you pair somebody who's more forehand dominant with somebody who's backhand dominant. And the putting aspect, I'm sure, comes into play, too. Hole three. This is a par four. This is a new hole for this layout this year. 841 feet. You see the hazard area. They're marked off by the rocks. The drone is flying now. You got another 270 feet to the turn. And then once you get to this turn area here, there's a mandatory on the right-hand side that has to swing left of that. Got 130 left in the pin, slightly uphill, bending left to right with these giant trees here that do block and obstruct a lot of incoming shots. It's a daunting hole, one that a par feels like a very good score on. Oh, yeah. Like every shot is very important. There isn't one that you can miss and then make it up on the next. No, it requires focus on every shot. Mm -hmm. Just getting a nice little skip oh, and he gets wow. to the other side of the hazard. Yeah. That's about just about where you want to be to be lined up for the gap, too. I have to say the maintenance they did on this course. We talked about the rocks and everything, but the, the grass, the mowing, everything that was done to present this course the way it is. It's, I can't imagine how many hours it takes to get this course prepped for these events. Yeah. Good secondary drive there. A team golf area partner picking you up. Mm hmm. Nice looking drive there. Hooking up and it's going to land in that sweet, sweet spot. It gives you a clear look at the turn that you need mm -hmm. to get to for your second shot. Pretty much right in the meat of the fairway there. Tough lefty shot here. 
Oh, yeah. You've got to commit to something turning over, and that's going to fade out. Imagine we see that quite a bit with lefties if you're not throwing a forehand. Yeah. And that's down there by, by old hole three's T-pad. Mm -hmm. I mean, hole four. Old hole four is T-pad. Yeah. This is what you typically would see from this. Is a forehand shot as you try to approach to the to the turn. That didn't quite make it all the way there. A little low. But he still has a playable option. This gives the green light to the next player to, to go for it. Yeah, if he wants to get aggressive here and try the skip shot or roller, it looks like he's going low flaring skip, something stable. Oh, wow. Almost gets a bit of a straight skip. Yeah, he does, but that's still fine. He has a look at the basket. It's a long look, not realistic that you'll make that putt. Yeah, but, but it's easy to get through that gap. Not He's, only that, in this format with the teams, if you have one layup, you're, you've got the green light oh to yeah. try to run something aggressively. Adam here with a big swooping forehand. Again, that's the kind of skip and counter action you kind of want. But, well, he's still blocked. He still doesn't have a clean look at the basket. They still have to manage that that big, uh, I don't know what type of tree that is. Oh, is he going with a roller here? Yeah, he lays it down. It's getting it just needs to stand oh. and turn though, but it ran out of steam coming up the hill. Yep. Here we go, charging the putter again. It's a long jump putt approach bit here. Inside the circle, looks like just outside the bullseye. Mm -hmm. Let's see how aggressive his partner gets here. He's lefty. He's kind of got the wider line to make a bid at it. Yeah. And he gave it an honest effort. Yeah. He gave it the height. He gave it the commitment. But that's a difficult putt to make. Yeah, see how they're, they're still oh, cut yeah, off. Oh, yeah, they're still pinched there. Yeah. yeah. So we'll play forehand there. Mm -hmm. Put them about 15 feet out from the pin. Very soft bid. Just clips. I would have liked to have seen where that would have finished out. And there we go for the par, North Carolina. Yeah, again, par feels really good on this hole. Mm -hmm. Played it well. And pretty much a tap in left here. Oh. <laughs> well, I've, I've, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've, you just can't I've find it. Yeah. You can't find it right now. <laughs> been there plenty of times. <laughs> Here you go. Come on there to back him up once again, securing the par. Keeping things at the status quo here. Through three holes, still a one-stroke advantage for Clemson. And now we come to hole four. It is a part three, 304 feet. We'll be playing to the furthest pin away, not the first one that we come through. But we have to make it through this tight, tight tunnel of trees. Of course, by the time that they play, this basket here will be removed and they'll have a clean look at the basket right behind it. But even though it's a clean look, it's not an easy get. There is mandatory on a the mandatory. Lines. Yep. Just makes the hallway even tighter. You've got the players practice areas on the right hand side. So that's distracting because everybody's throwing into nets and kind of throwing up shots left and right as well. And that had the right line just a little bit higher and it would have got a little bit closer there. That's fine. With partner golf now, he's got the green light if he wants to try to run something up the gut here. We got away from a little nose up, clips a tree. It, it never came down. It's never to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> this looks a little too high as well. There's some and cabbage up there and it yeah. kind of clips it over to the left. That He did make the mandatory though, so that is a playable lie if they do go with that shot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, straight he, down. He was going for it though. That was yeah. enough. I think he was going for the ace. He wasn't even <laughs> just going for the part job. He's like, "We're out there. I'm gonna ace it." Why not? I counted seventeen. I was, I was trying to be quiet. So. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really count seventeen, but if you did, let us know how many spins that was. <laughs> Dude, that's a tough lefty putt. It's got to beat that tree. Oh, oh yeah. that was a good line, though. It was. That tree wasn't there. Well, actually, the tree's just a little bit past the basket, I believe. 
So oh, that cabbage. There mm. looks like there's outside of circle one of the short pad. Oh, the short basket. Yeah. Um, I can't. I can't tell what the. No, they're outside. Uh, or is it just circle one for this pad? This basket. Yeah, the, or this basket. Uh, yeah, I can't tell. There's too many whiskers. No, okay, so no, the, yeah, the whiskers that we see right now are definitely for one of these baskets. <laughs> <laughs> Good line on that one. Just a little bit low there. And again, we've got a couple of pretty short tabs. Even here. those whiskers don't make sense for. Oh, that's that's, that's the bullseye. bullseye. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, There's so many whiskers. It's, yeah. Hey, makes that there one. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Getting the par. Hey, Ma, you saw me make that putt on hole four? <laughs> I did it. No change in score there. Through four holes, Clemson with a one stroke lead. Hole five, an iconic one at that. A par five at 1,025 feet. Your drive here has to kind of test the water's edge a little bit, getting you back over from left to right, getting you into this fairway here. Secondary shot, if you can get to one of these landing zones, 350 ideally is where you want, want to be to get across to the pin here by that other set of trees. There's about 270 to get across. Water carry, water carry is mandatory as that pole on the right hand side by that last tree does come into effect. And then you've got this green, which is very fast as well. A daunting hole for sure. Again. And one that can eat three or four of your discs. <laughs> like I learned from experience. This is a Ooh, yeah. laser. And that is pretty much right in the middle. Yeah. We do see rollers here. We see backhand turnovers. We see big forehands. Is this a roller coming up here? It looks like a roller. It is. Yeah. All right. Very that's nicely done. Yeah. Got to give them a lot of options for their next shot. See the forehand here first for NC State. I like the tilt on this. It, you you he's, feel he's, like it's gonna go in the water, yeah, but yeah. you've got more room there than you think. Uh, I don't know. That's that was kind of close. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a breeze, and he may have uh, been fishing. It's a good lefty backhand hole here, and from what we've seen, it's got some pop behind that arm. Mm-hmm. It's a nice tilt on that. Oh yeah, drifting left as well. Yeah. That is very ideal. I believe that was an emperor that he was throwing on that. Is that a halo? I believe like so. It was a halo, yeah. yeah. All right, so here you're just trying to get to the landing area. No one is really trying to go across from here. Yeah, you're trying but to get you, to... But you don't want to be too far right making the, the shot... Even longer. ...longer than it needs to be over the water, but you don't want to be too close... That you go out of bounds? That you go out of bounds. And he's just past the rope there. It's hard to see from this angle. <clears throat> And there's the good overcorrection. Yeah, playing it safer, banking it out to the right-hand side. Yeah. So he, he's probably added another 50, 50 feet to what the other teammates are going to need to approach. This, this is ideally what you want to do. Yeah, Have something that's finish. Yep, gently finishing Ooh. over towards the water. Never really in danger, but yeah. in good position. And, oh, I said no one was going to go for it from here, but... Adam has a big forehand here and you're about to see All right. what he can do here that made the that made the mando but it's gone out of bounds so he yeah. he made the mandatory landed on the other side or just short of it and then kind of trickled back into the water yeah but it's hard to make a call there as to where where you would take your your next shot from and if they would have played it near the mandatory, they would have been inside of those trees with no clear line. Yeah. So instead, they opt to play the other shot there. And this, unfortunately, has found the water. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's getting that one back. If you find a centurion out there by that one <laughs> with a penguin stamp, it's mine. And this is fighting back towards the water. That is but good. It's safe enough. Yeah. Inside the circle. Kind of with a death putt, but. Yes, this this basket is perched pretty precariously close to the water line yeah. this year. They've 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 made it even more treacherous. This one should be good and safe. Yep, beats that tree line there. It's a long upshot from there. So you would think this he has a green light to get as close as he can. Oh, I played it way too safe. Oh, 
he doesn't like it. And yeah, played away too safe. Similar spot to his partner there, a yeah. little closer. I would imagine we're just going to see two layups here, or maybe one layup and one run with this format. It depends on how much they love their putter. <laughs> oh, Ooh. and that yeah. goes out of bounds. Mm -hmm. That didn't look like a run, so to say. It looked like he was just trying to do a floaty layup. No, that looked like a floaty layup. He looked like he was, he gave it the, the height for it to be a legit run, but he wanted it to fall in bounds. It right. did, but it just it still just trickled OB. And the water is not. Was the disc wet? That just came out of his head. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, but the edge of the water, you can be two feet in and not see your disc. It, it goes yes. down. So. Yes. That is very true. And once again, Adam uh, making the putt behind his partner there to carry right. him, pick him up. He did retrieve the disc. Okay, he that's did, good to yeah. know. But that's a uh, another stroke there gained by Clemson as they secure the birdie on this hole. Your first birdie of the match. Mm -hmm. Hole six is a par three, 371 feet. It's weird talking about these holes because I feel like anyone watching this knows these holes. But anyway, you got this low ceiling as you approach the basket that you want to get around. You want to really ideally skip and land in the beach area uh, if you're trying to get anything close to a birdie. If you're just playing for a safe par, you play it out to the right. There is OB that comes into play, pitch it into the sand and then go from there. But with the team format, I think one safe play and one going for it would be the uh, ideal format. This looks a little scary because it's oh the tree slowed it down. The that was going yeah that was definitely going to go in the water if it uh, flared off the the hard pan there. Yeah, and the, also the the drop zone if you do go out of bounds if both players go out of bounds is a treacherous forty five footer staring at out of bounds as well. Mm -hmm. This one goes and yeah that falls out of bounds into the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. NC State here. But yeah, as you said, there's OB right, there's OB left. You'd rather be OB right and still be able to get your disc back <laughs> yeah, yeah. than the OB left. <laughs> this right here, that's a good safe play. Mm -hmm. That will give the next person the green light to try to do something special. Oh, that needed to tilt a bit, and that's got... Okay, that got knocked, knocked down. down. It's tracking out of bounds as well. You keep saying tilt, and I say turn. Well, the tilt disc is a disc. tilts to the right. Tilt is a disc. Oh, yeah. but I, I hate to see my disc turn into another disc mid-flight. That's just... <laughs> it's just so annoying. I'm trying to use different terminology than, than the usual. Well, that's <laughs> turning and fading and trying to mix it up here. Give give the people something to think about. That's panning. <laughs> that's, uh, yes. <laughs> All right. A smooth little forehand putter approach there. Puts mm -hmm. them just outside the bullseye. His partner should have the green light here to try to make a bid at it. A little bit right out of the hand the whole way. USDGC written in the sand there by the spotter. Mm -hmm. And if anyone hasn't paid attention yet, the baskets are in the uh, MPO um, USDGC layout. They, they're they not in the throw pink Correct. layout. Yeah, as we said, the, the FPO field has already teed off in the morning. You've got the collegiate cars going out right behind them, which are these cards, and then following right behind them are all the MPO players playing the USDGC layout. Hole seven, another iconic hole. We've been saying that a lot throughout this coverage. Get used to it, because there's more to come. This is a par three. We all know it. We all love it. 284 feet, triple manhole, triple mando. Excuse me, they call it the clown's mouth. Well, there's two holes that they kind of call the clown's mouth. This is one of them, though. Get through the gates here. There is out of bounds long left and right. And drop zone is rather tricky as well. Adds about another 25 feet before the actual bamboo fence. Clemson first. Oh, that looks nice. Get under. Good angle. Just okay. nice swing back. Get oh, out of man. Out. Off the cage itself, nearly getting the ace. Let's get a run back there for the Clemson Tigers on that one. Just a beautiful turn there out of the hand. And the last second drift back and off the cage. It's an 
Adrian Lindsley back there, back there filming alongside you. Beautifully done. Now you just got to ace it, right? Your partner's parked it. Yeah, yeah. You have the green light. You have, you have all the green lights. Yeah. That one hits the bamboo, does not miss the mandatory. I think they're going to go with the first one, though. Probably so. Ooh. That, he knew it out of his hand. Yeah, that stays right, and that has missed the mandatory. It's gone out of bounds, actually, on the right-hand side. Mm-hmm. Adds a little bit of pressure here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks good. Just needs yep. to settle right by the oh, mouth. Actually, it's it was, a little bit of a good roll there. Yeah, it's good that it rolled back. I actually initially thought that it was just going to come right on through, but um, hitting the bamboo and rolling back still gives you a little bit of room to actually give it a, a run at the birdie. Yeah, being pinched against that fence there makes it nearly impossible. Hmm. That might block. be the that may be the second worst sound in disc golf right there. <laughs> the bamboo fence on, on this hole. Yes. <laughs> oh, good Ooh. bid there. Yep. Yeah, so we all know the band is the worst sound in disc golf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good birdie there for Team Clemson. Yeah, I guess bamboo might be the, the second worst. Bamboo sound. trumps tree. I mean, yeah. the tree is is a bad sound. There's different variations according to the thickness, but that bamboo that was loud. Yeah. Plus, you hit trees so often that you kind of get used to the sound. <laughs> I don't know if you ever get sound used to the sound of hitting a bamboo fence. If you do, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hole eight. Do I need to say an iconic hole? Iconic hole. All right. It is a par four coming in at 697 feet. Main goal here is just to get out into this opening. Don't go be on the left or the right so that your teammates have a approach through this smaller gap going around the baseball field. It does have a slope going from right to left. Then you have to make the slight turn, missing the guardians to have a putt. Getting a three on this hole is something special. And during this uh, during this round, there was a baseball game going on where the Winthrop Eagles were playing a game. So there's a yes. lot going on. Actually, when I was out there, they were warming up when we came through here. So when I was out there, someone hit a ball over the fence and <laughs> it came in front of me. Jeez. The guy came looking for it to say, you seen a ball? I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it went down there to the creek. He's like, OK, well, never mind. And that gets pushed out towards the other fairway. We also had the FPO cards coming down, playing the throw pink layout on this hole coming mm -hmm. back down. Yeah. Which is hole 16. Yes. Forehand's a good play here. Yes. He's going to come back. Oh no, he pushed it too far left, so oh, that's out no of bounds as well. And I believe that spotter there, unless I was wrong, is... Uh, that's a hazard? No, no, no. The no. Um, the spotter themselves there is uh, Johnny Sias, who oh. is in the Disc Golf Hall of Fame. We actually filmed him a couple years ago at the oh. Hall of Fame Classic. It was him, uh, and I can't remember the other names that were on the card, but he was definitely on there. Mitch McClellan was the other one that was mm. on the big name that was being inducted that year. So both of them went OB. They're going to fight through. It did. Wow. wow. That is great. Yeah, he's going to have a look uphill there at it. Yes. There's, I did Most, not expect that to clear. fight through. Me either. 90% error, right? All yeah. trees are 90% error. Flexing lefty line. I like this. Just needs oh, to beat that one. Oh, yeah. that could have been something special there. That's a, that's a tough gap to get through. It has to be the right height. It has to be still pushing forward. It needs to be turned a certain way. and So it's not an easy run-of-the-mill shot. This is yeah, all distance. this has to be happening. Whoa. What a skip. What a shot. Wow. Well inside the circle, just outside the bullseye. bullseye. Yeah, that's that is great. Impressive forehand. We so often see rollers, too. I wonder if we're going to see a roller here. Yeah. yeah. And we see them kind of riding that hillside. This is pretty common to see, but it just didn't quite yeah. stand up. So he ends up hitting that fence down there. Wow, that, that first shot it, it had everything that I described as far as pushing forward, the, mm -hmm. the right angle, turning, and... I didn't even include the, the flare skip, but yeah. have a good putt here. Oh, just a tad bit That's high. Just over the top there. 
NC State needing to get one of these to go, Ooh. and that one just misses, and that's the uh, end of that putter. Yep. <laughs> that wasn't even the putter at fault. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always the second putter that takes the brunt of the punishment. Uh, all right. Uh, Got another one in for a bird. Wow, that, like I said, that was something special. Mm hmm. Definitely. Two very high level shots to get the birdie mm -hmm. on that hole. And unfortunately, we're going to see the bogey here from NC State as they're starting to lose ground here on this front half. Five stroke difference now. Yeah, wow. Hole nine, this one is one that kind of changes from year to year. It's par three, 362 feet. You've got the initial pillars off of the tee box here that you have to beat. You've got out of bounds here on the tall grass, marked by these rocks or boulders here. Right hand side is a bailout zone. Then you've got this very tight green here with out of bounds, long left and long left, short right and short. So very protected green for the women. This actually plays as a par four for the men. It is a very difficult par three. Mm -hmm. And the drop zone for going OB is, is the OB line is actually in front of the rocks going all the way, all the way around. So you, even if you're past the rocks, you still may not be inbound yet. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then the green actually has like a, a kind of a kidney bean shape to mm -hmm. it, but it's a, it's a peninsula, not an island. So. I like this line a little better. Just needs some height though, because once this grass grabs uh, your disc, it doesn't yeah. let it skip forward, and he is just shy from being in bounds as well. So they're going to go to that drop zone, like we talked about. It's very punitive. Yeah. Better height on this. I don't know if it's going to hold. Oh wow! Oh, it it stuck. Yeah, that okay. was great. So advantage so far here for NC State. Mm-hmm. Oh, he does throw four hands. Okay. Yeah, he threw one on one of those earlier holes. And he's in bound yeah, as well. That one beats the last set of balls. Yeah, I was just a little surprised because we didn't see the forehand on hole three. He went kind of yeah. turnover. But he maybe he just felt he can get more power. So here's the it. drop zone. And that tree is just, I right don't know way. how to describe how much in the way it is. Like, yes. it's, it's nearly impossible. I did see one guy make it. Um, on Monday, though, was yeah, it, there was there was a nice guy round. there. Oh, he almost he. Oh my goodness! And nice. on almost knocks it in. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll give you the quick shout. I saw you make it from oh, the drop oh. zone. Oh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, I remember doing that. Yeah, <laughs> we played it on the Monday after the event. There. Yeah. Ooh, that one stays. Good nice bird. bird. There. They needed that there. Yeah. Big momentum shift back their way. Mm -hmm. Taking advantage of Clemson going OB and having to go to the drop zone there. Take the bogey there. So five strokes turns into three. Yep, two two stroke swing mm -hmm. at the turn. So Clemson through the front nine, a three stroke advantage over NC State. We've still got a lot of disc golf left, as you know. The back half of this course has a lot of scoring separation built into it. Looking forward to see how this one's gonna finish out here in the 2022 Dean's Cup. A big thank you to College Disc Golf for bringing us out to this incredible venue for this event. Make sure to come on back and check out the back nine to see who your 2022 Dean's Cup champion will end up being. Check us out on all our socials at Ace Run Pro. Give us a like, subscribe, share, tell your friends we've got more College Disc Golf coming your way on the channel and of course a big thank you as always to our patreon community our ace runners we'll check you out back here for the back nine